Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Back with you with part two of this spirit-led teaching. Who are the true circumcision? Who are the true circumcision? The circumcision is Christ, and Christ alone is the circumcision. The circumcision is going from the flesh to the spirit. Why? Because God is the spirit. John 4, 24, uh, 4. God is the spirit, and they that walk with him must walk with him in spirit and in truth. So circumcision is being circumcised from sin into Christ's spirit. So that we can go through the process of the baptism of the spirit so that we can enter into the first fruit lifestyle of the spirit. This is the completion of faith because Christ is the author and finisher of our faith because he is the faith and we have to be eternally clothed back in his righteousness from the circumcision of the spirit. To the baptism of the spirit to the fruit of the spirit. But it all begins with the circumcision. This is why the emphasis is on who are the true circumcision? Who are the true circumcision? Galatians 3.16. Galatians 3.16, it says, and the promises were made to Abraham and his seed. Not of many, it says, it, says, it goes on in that text to say, it says not of seeds as of many, but to thy seed being Christ. So the Abrahamic covenant was to Abraham and his seed being Christ. Now, if you are in Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Only if you're in Christ, because he's the true circumcision, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. Otherwise, you are not Abraham's true seed. You are not his true seed. 2 Corinthians 3.17. 2 Corinthians 3.17 says that the Lord is that spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. There's liberty from the flesh to the spirit. There's liberty from the act of circumcision in the flesh to the fruit of circumcision in the flirt, in, in the spirit. We are to become fruitful. Let us go to John. As we begin part two of this teaching, let us go to John 8, 31 through 48. 31 through 48. 31 says, Then said Jesus unto the Jews, unto the Jews which believed on him. You see, some believed on him and some did not. Now remember, Jew is short for Jerusalem. Jew is not a race, it's a religion. And when they were called Jews, it's because the Jews' religion in the flesh pointed unto the heavenly Jerusalem, which was Christ in the spirit. You see, the true Jerusalem is eternal. And the mother of us all, uh, Galatians 4.26, because that's the birthplace of us all, all that are in Christ. He is the heavenly Jerusalem because he's the heavenly places, Ephesians 1.3. He says, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. 32, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Now, we can't miss what he said. He did not say, if you follow my word, that would be pertaining to walking by sight. Then you would be following the written word. He said, it is written, if you continue in my word, that's the revealed word, the word that's revealed to your spirit, that he reveals to your spirit as the Christ, as the living word. If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth because you will know him in the spirit and the truth shall make you free from the soul and body by the fruit of the spirit. You see, it's going to make you free by the fruit of the spirit. So this is what he's talking about when he says in John 6, 63, it is the spirit that makes alive the flesh profits nothing. 
the words I speak unto you, they are spirit, they are life. He didn't say the words I have written unto you. He said the words I speak unto you. They are spirit and they are life. They answered him, we be Abraham's seed. Uh, 33, they answered him, we be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. How say you, how say that you shall be made free? Now notice in 31, he said, then said Jesus to those Jews which believed on him. So he was speaking to some of the Jews, not all of the Jews that believed on him. And then the ones that didn't believe upon him, in 33, they answered him, we, we be Abraham's seed and were never in bondage to any man. You see, we were never in bondage to any man. How say that you shall be made free? 34, Jesus answered them. He says, verily, verily, I say unto you, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. Now, sin is not an act, it's a fruit. Now, they were in the fruit of sin. Now, they not believing upon him, he being right before them, they operating in the fruit of sin meant that through their spirit was coming the root of sin. So they were dead in sin. So he that committed sin, whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abides not in the house forever, but the son abides forever. You can be in sin and have a mindset of serving the Lord. That's a religious mindset. And the natural seed of Abraham, they were the children, they, they till this day are the children of the flesh. They have a mindset of serving. The Lord don't need nobody to serve him. The Lord does not need anyone to serve him. And the servant abides not in the house forever, but the son abides forever. This is the difference between the religion of Christ and the reality of Christ, including the Bible-based religion of Christ. Because when I speak of, of the uncircumcision, I'm speaking of Judaism and, and, and the Ju Judeo religion and biblical religion at that. I'm speaking of them both. 37. He says, uh, 36, he said, if the son therefore shall make you free, then you shall be free indeed. If the son makes you free, then you're free indeed. You ain't free unless the son make you free. And Christ is the son of God because he's the image of God. They, did, they, they didn't understand that freedom was to go from the flesh to the spirit. Freedom was to go from malehood to manhood, to, from, from femalehood to womanhood, being circumcised uh, back to the, to the life of Christ. So you're not, you're not living, existing, limited to the cycle of the world. But you're alive in Christ, living beyond the cycle of this world. You're living beyond what you see, not limited to what you see. So if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. And you shall be free indeed because I live in the fruit of that freedom every single day. I live in the fruit of that freedom every single day. In spite of my situation, I'm living beyond my situation by divine revelation. I'm not caught up in the cycle. I'm not caught up in the cycle. I taste the prosperity of Christ on a daily basis as he lives his life through me leading me in all the purpose, in all the eternal purpose uh, of God, which is Christ. He tells him, he says, I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my word had no place in you. Now he told him, he says, I know that you are Abraham's seed. He says, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you yet have to understand they were Abraham natural seed in the flesh, but 
They were his natural genealogy in the flesh, but they were of the spirit of death because Christ has not yet went to the cross. They were his natural genealogy. He said, but you seek to kill me. And he said, this did not Abraham. I know that you are Abraham's seed, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. He says, my word has no place in you. Why? Because Christ being the eternal seed of Abraham and they being the children of the flesh, being seeds of Abraham, the promise, the promises was not given unto him, unto them, but to Abraham and his seed. You see, when the, when the Jews were carrying out those religious ordinances and acts, they didn't realize that all acts, that they were acts of that religion that they were carrying out in the flesh was pointing to the seed of Abraham, Christ in the spirit. They were in spiritual ignorance, just like in when we're following the written word called the Bible. And we're carrying out these acts of the flesh. All these acts of the flesh pointed to Abraham's seed being Christ in the spirit. And we have to go from, from being active to being fruitful. We have to go from religious acts in the flesh to the righteousness of, of Christ, who is the fruit of the spirit. We have to go from the act to the fruit. He tells them, he says, my word has no place in you. 38, I speak that which I have seen with my father and you do that which you have seen with your father. 39, they answered and said unto him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said unto him, if Abraham, if you were Abraham's children, then you would do the works of Abraham. You would do the works of Abraham. What was the works of Abraham? Abraham believed God. But now you seek to kill me, a man that had told you the truth, which I have heard of God. This did not Abraham. But yet they said that they were Abraham's seed. And they were Abraham's seed, according to the flesh, according to the religion, according to the Jews' religion. They were Abraham's seed. They were a shadow and type of the seed of Abraham. They were a shadow and type of the seed of Abraham because Judaism was a shadow and type of Christ. Just like uh, biblical Christianity, which is false Christianity, but that was a shadow and type of Christ. We have to go from the shadow and the type to Christ because that, that's who everything pointed to, Christ. He tells them, he says, you do the deeds of your father. He already told him they did not do the, uh, the deeds of Abraham. In 41, he says, you do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornicators. We have one father, even God. Jesus said unto them, if God were your father, you would love me. He said, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? He, he says, even because you cannot hear my, my word. 44. And he goes right on to tell them. He says, you are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. That's religion. That's religion. He says, you are of your father the devil, the children of the flesh. Because he knew what spirit they were of. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. He is a liar and the, and the father of it. How are you a child of the devil? By the spirit of the devil. We're all born dead in our sins and trespasses. So whether we know it or not, we have all been a child of death before we were a child of life. We have all been a child of the devil and our, our, the very fruit we reproduced, or should I say the very fruit... Uh, Sin, fruitful sin that was produced through us was the evidence of it. 
and in that state of being a child of death, because we were under law governed by the spirit of death, we were religious. We had Bible-based religion. We had Judeo religion. And the gospel is an offense to, the, to a child of death. It's an offense to them. It's, a, it's an offense to their, to their religious righteousness. And this is what Jesus was making known to these uh, people that they were not the true children of God. They were the children of the devil. Could they become the children of God through the, through the true circumcision? Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Through the true circumcision, they could become the children of God. This is why, always remember what, what, what Jesus said when, when they were nailing him to the cross, pertaining to the flesh. He said, Father, forgive them because they know not what they do. You see, they were blinded to who he was, who Jesus was, so that prophecy could be fulfilled. Jesus was the physical manifestation of Christ, but they didn't know that, so that prophecy could be fulfilled. Because without him going to the cross in the flesh for the atonement of sin and Christ crucifying him in the spirit to sin, we'd still be dead in sin. Why? Because our soul has to be saved. But our soul, our soul, our soul can't be saved. Our soul has to be redeemed. But our soul is redeemed through the salvation of our spirit. Because our soul, which is the body of our spirit, cannot be redeemed outside of the salvation of our spirit. And if your soul is not redeemed, your soul is going to perish in hell. But your spiritual intellect will never perish. It's just like my physical body can feel pain and I can know it in my mind. When the soul is, is, is destroyed, they're going to be conscious in mind. The, the, that unborn again mind of their spirit is going to be conscious. It's going to be conscious of all the opportunities of salvation that they had and denied it. Con to continue on in the pleasures of sin, which religion is one of them, for a season. Because they thought what they were doing, they were going, they were going to continuously get away with it, and no one denies Christ and continues to get away with it. No, what you have by his grace is a time of repentance that he gives you, to repent from that sin. But nobody gets away with anything. Nobody gets away with anything. Let's continue to the finish. And because, uh, 45, and because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? 47, look what he says. He that is of God, the true circumcision, hear God's words. You therefore are not of God, because they're not the true circumcision. You therefore hear them not because you are not of God. Because they're not the true circumcision. They're not the true circumcision. They're Abraham's seed according to the flesh. They're the children of the flesh. They're the children of the flesh. You have to become Abraham's seed in accordance with the spirit. You have to become a child of the spirit. So he spoke to the Jews that believed on him and also address the Jews that were against him because he knew those there that were against him. But they were Jews because they were in the Judeo religion. Anytime it says Jews, it's talking about religion. Religion. Remember, Judaism is not a race, it's a religion. When you are here talk, uh, and you hear these people talking about the Jews are white, the Jews are black, no they're not. There's no such thing as a white Jew or a black Jew. Judaism is the circumcision from your whiteness and blackness because Judaism is a shadow and type of Christ. Judaism is not a race. It's a religion. It's a religion. And that religion, which is the circumcision of the covenant, which was given to them in the flesh, pointed you to Christ, who is the true circumcision, who is the image of God in the spirit. 
So we, we have to go from the act to the fruit. We have to go from the letter to the light so that we can begin to walk by faith and not by sight. Because when you're walking by faith, your faith is something you have to walk out. You have to walk it out. Once you, once you enter into the faith of the Spirit, you have to walk out your faith by the fruit of the Spirit. And the faith is Christ, and Christ alone is the faith. This is why uh, Romans 14, 23 says, Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. You're in bondage. Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. You're in bondage. And they, not being the spiritual seed of Abraham, they weren't in Christ. They were in bondage to sin. And this is what he was, this is what he was telling them. Being in the Jews' religion, being religious, he was letting them know they were in bondage to sin because they were in the flesh. And therefore, being in the flesh, they being under law in the spirit. Because they were dead in, the, still dead in the sense of their uh, sins and trespasses. So they were still servants of sin. They were still servants of sin. And this brings us to a conclusion of part two of this teaching. See you in part three. Love you in the Lord.